All right, so we have to do one of these, which is the worst kind of problem, because they don't tell you what you're trying to prove. They ask you, is something true or false? And so you can get really stuck trying to prove one thing that's not even true. Of course, even though it's the worst, even though it's annoying for that reason, because the author could just say, prove that there is no isomorphism between the additive groups of rationals and the additive groups of integers, this makes it more like what you do in actual research where you don't really know anything about what you're trying to prove. So, what's... Hmm, I'm trying to think what the best way to explain this is. Basically, basically what you want to think about is you want to think about things that you can do. Like, is there anything you can do in one of these um, cases but not in the other that would be... Um, like behave that would behave nicely with homeomorphic or homomorphisms, and so one thing that you have is you have, um, you have you have a type of linearity where like you know how you know phi x plus if you have a homomorphism then v x y equals v x plus v y. What this really is is if you make this just x and x, and this is phi of 2x equals 2 phi of x, and um, of course, let's see, if you were to replace this with any, just by induction, you could replace this with, replace this with any integer, and um, so you, you basically have sort of a type of linear, linearity that you can do here, and so we're going to want to exploit that. And so what are the things that you can do? Are there things you can do in the integers that you can't do in the rationals? Uh, well, in the rationals, you have halves. Like if you have x, then you also have x over 2. Whereas you don't have that in the integers. And even, even, though, this is, um, even though this is kind of like a multiplicative thing and not an additive thing, you can still use this to uh, come up with a reason why you can't have uh, a homomorphism or an isomorphism but yeah so anyways so let's assume for contradiction that phi from rationals with plus to z with plus is an isomorphism then okay so it's bijective so phi of q equals 1 for some q in the rationals. So then what? Then we have q over 2. And what can we... q over 2 exists in the rationals. So what can we do with that? We know that 2 times... No, not... 2 times phi of q over 2 equals phi of... Okay, let, let, just to be really explicit on what we're doing here, this is just vq over 2 plus vq over 2 equals what? Well, because this is a uh, homomorphism, this is, you can bring the two things inside, and when you add v over 2 and v over 2, you just get, no, when you add q over 2 and q over 2, you just get q. So v of q, oh hey, that, that's 1. So, what is phi of q over 2? It must be 1 half. The 1 half is not in z. And this is a contradiction. And hence, there is no isomorphism between rationals and integers with respect to addition. And we're done.